So here is Franken tractor. It's a John Deere 455 chassis and rear end, basically everything but the engine, which was trashed. And I've replaced it with a two cylinder water cooled diesel out of a Shibara, which is a Japanese gray market tractor. I uh, believe they built most of Ford's subcompacts. As you can see, I modified the John Deere motor mounts to work with the Shibara engine which originally bolted directly to the frame rails whereas the Yanmar and the John Deere was rubber mounted on these ears that you can see. Uh, it took a little bit of hammer work to get it to work but it's in there and it's fairly straight and it all works well. You can also see if I zoom out a little bit out a little bit there we go uh, that the engine is mounted backwards with the crank snout pointing towards the rear end and the radiator between the engine and the operator uh, this is because the direction of rotation of the transaxle uh, excuse me transaxle required that it drive from the front of the engine I accomplished that simply by bolting the uh, see if we can zoom in and see it here. Uh, where are we? Yep, that's it right there. Uh, I bolted the pulley, crankshaft pulley, off the Yanmar, uh, piggybacked it onto the crankshaft pulley on the Shibaru, which allowed me to use the original Yanmar uh, drive linkage. And lucked out there, that worked out pretty well. Amazingly enough, I was also able to use all the original John Deere wiring. Uh, the only changes I had to make was adapting the Yanmar alternator, which is has the internal regulator. Uh, mount that on the Shibara engine. And the rest of it basically hooked up where it was. I had to reroute the wiring harness a little bit because the connections on the Shibara engine are on the opposite side. And now we'll go ahead and start it up. I have temporary throttle linkage until I get a long enough cable. Turn the key on and that starts the fuel pump and the glow plug for the preheat. Wait a few seconds for the glow plug timer. Sounds a little bit like an old two-cylinder John Deere. And now we'll drive around a little bit to prove to you that it does run. Notice the distinct lack of a seat and other sheet metal. I had hoped to get that on, but I started doing a little corrosion control, and we all know how deep that rabbit hole goes. <laughs> 